hired two. I am Sydney Riley. This is my podcast, and this right here is my drummer and friend, Brandon Pellet. Hi, I'm Brandon Pellet. Brandon Pellet is wonderful. I love having him. We just had a gig, um, so I wanted to interview him and see what things are like in in the world of Brandon. You're just saying all that. I'm just saying. All <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> those, that's all correct. Those are the words. Anyway, <laughs> let's You're get just into it. Saying words. <laughs> Happy to be here. Here's your bio for you. Um, I have some thoughts, but I'm just going to read through it, and then we'll talk about it we after. we got to okay? tear this thing apart. Yeah. All right. Brandon Pellet is a Toronto-based artist and drummer for multiple projects, including Highliner, All My Life, Bad Breed, Sydney Riley, Alyssa Tess, and more. Active in his community, Brandon plays with a large number of local artists as a side musician, for both live shows and recording projects, Brandon is the artistic director at Canadian Musicians Co-op and aims to provide young artists with a strong foundation for their future careers. Graduating from Hummer College in 2022, Brandon has been exposed to many genres of music through his diverse range of teachers and playing scenarios. As a teacher and a creator himself, he aims to spread his musical knowledge throughout his community. That's Brandon, me. Yeah. Is that How, it? That's it? That's it. That's it. How accurate <laughs> is uh, is your lineup for projects right now? I'd say there's still some that are surviving from there. Yeah. We okay. got we got Sydney Riley. Hey, that's me. Number one on the list. Perfect. Not number one. Favorites. Not number four. Or certainly. number two. Oh. Not anymore. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Moved it on up. I joined Matria, my favorite metal band in the world, <laughs> with my top tier homies, Mark Wiley, Liam Morrison. Honestly, Matt. super group, truly. I love them. Yeah. It's like, when I first saw them, I was like, they're cooking. <laughs> and I was like, I want to be cooking with them. <laughs> so now we're, we're doing cooking it. Cooking up a storm. Just released a single. Matria released The Traveler, followed up by an EP coming soon. So It's a delicious single. You're going to scrump that single <laughs> up, my friends. You need to listen to it <laughs> right now. Thank you for the sound effects. <laughs> I think they're needed. They're needed. I think, uh, it's, yeah. it's a great song. Like, I listened to it. I was like, this is it. This is the one. That song's really fun. It goes everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, The Traveler, check it out. Perfect. 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 Self-plug. <laughs> you know, someone the other day was talking about, like, really plugging yourself and really, like, advertising yourself. And I'm like, mm. I hate that. But n I'm doing it. So I'm, you just got to get yourself <laughs> in the world, you yeah. know? It does feel embarrassing <laughs> to talk about yourself in that kind of way. It sucks. But it, Even, like, you really getting do my... Have to. Even listen to my bio being read to me, I'm like, I want to shrivel up into a ball and just like, yeah, it's rough. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that was from eons ago. It's I feel that way too when I read your bio. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so okay, we're gonna we're gonna pick apart this bio and figure out what's accurate, what's not anymore. Okay. Okay. Um, are you still the artistic director at Canadian Musicians Co-op? That's a former gig. I think that was a two-year artistic director thing right i was with them for six years so i learned a lot six years it's crazy but wow yeah you were you're there for a longer time than me i was there since the beginning wow since the beginning wow we've known each other for a long time i guess oh my goodness That's crazy well, yeah i can't believe how long we've known each other it's kind of weird that i didn't weird. really know you the first year i didn't know anyone yeah do we even know ourselves the first year <laughs> you know what i mean hey that's a great question. <laughs> We're going to save that for the philosophical the part philosophical of this interview. Section. <laughs> um, graduating from Humber College in 2022, is that correct? Did graduate. Perfect. Did all my years. All Even right. during COVID, that was not good. Is there anyone I listed who <laughs> you're like, you're out? Or anyone who you're in? I mean, I feel like Alyssa Tess, we do like the here and there. So mm -hmm. like, we're hanging on. It's always a fun little reunion with Alyssa. Because it's like get to hang out with the crew again yeah and i just love being around Alyssa. she was also in the co-op i think back yeah. in the day i've in never the personally met her but she seems like a great time she's I've heard like only a good sunflower things. of a human yeah amazing i love those kinds of people yeah um yeah and, and then just some matrio and yeah matrio yeah. and some new ones in there some new ones uh Ooh. we got i played with liam benion in there he's a pop star love that guy absolute legend yeah and uh yeah we had some fun we went to New York, always crazy. New York. Don't tell the border guards about that one, though. Uh -oh. That was a tense situation. Uh -oh. But anyway, it all worked out. And uh, <laughs> not that we played <laughs> a show there. Canadian government, if you're watching this, don't. Legally, we just went there to 
see the sights, you know? It was for the vibes. It was for the vibes. Um, anyway, he's an L.A. guy now. He's tearing it up. Yeah. Writing all the Great bangers. singer, songwriter. Oh, my like, goodness. He, he's songwriting on so many songs now. With he's other going people. crazy. He's going nuts. And they, the craziest thing is, like, the songs are good. Yeah. They're, like, yeah. really good. Anyway, they're some top tier stuff. He's bringing it back. He's bringing it back. Yeah. Back from the brink. <laughs> back from the brink of destruction. <laughs> the music industry was nothing without Liam, and he's bringing it back. He's bringing it back. For sure. Shout out to Liam. Um, I love you. And you're, you're also up to some, like, this is such a right curve, I think. Like a curveball from the previous conversation. You're a pilot? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I started my pilot training in September, and because we're on the internet... This can be listened to at any time, but it's currently July 21st. Okay. Is that accurate right now? Yeah. That's today. <laughs> so anyway, started out a few months ago. I'm about to get my private pilot license. Fingers crossed. Uh, been studying up. Got to do my test soon. Nice. And uh, then I'm going to fly to the gigs <gasps> and from the gigs. Are you going to fly us with you or is it just a Brandon pilot? I'm going to need you guys to fly with me. Yes. So expensive. It's going to be like, you think driving to a gig is bad? Man, when you're burning Taylor that Swift jet fuel. Taylor is not going to know <laughs> like, what it means to be wasting jet fuel when, once we get on the move. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Our wallets are going to be cooked. We're going to be, <laughs> we're gonna be eviscerated financially. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Hey, but honestly, the time you save is like... You know, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes that we can't get back. So in the future, we got to save it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what life's all about. I agree. Um, Brandon, we just had a gig. Yes. How do you feel it went? I feel like it was it was good. It was good. A <laughs> solid good out of out of 10. How would you rate it? I would say like uh, probably a seven, seven, seven I'd out of like 10. A That's seven. a solid number. It's all right. I was thinking We've done six, better. Yeah, could yeah. do better. But I feel like, yeah, the vibes were picking up in the second set. Yeah. There was a whole issue with the sound. We got to bring our yeah. own gear and all that, et cetera, that et cetera. So, excuse me. When what the hell can did you, you censor that on one? podcast? That's, can you censor that? Yeah, I'm going to auto tune it, actually. <laughs> can you do like an explosive reverb on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> you can make it work. <laughs> I might have to message you like while I'm trying to figure it out. But, <laughs> we but can make it It'll happen. get done. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> there was a lot of there was a lot of sound, sound things that weren't so sound. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So uh, anyway, sound was not sounding. At it was not points. sounding. Yeah, sounding. Um, but the gig was fun. We really got into it in the second set. Got a little colder in the evening, so yeah. It's uh, there was a nice sunset on the beach. <laughs> area i looked back gord like gord like looked and he was like that's crazy and then i looked <laughs> back and i was like you know what he was right that is absolutely crazy is that when you both messed up on the queens of the stone age song <laughs> no that was long after the sun's gone down the, the hope has left right our bodies right 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 yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna forget that one no it's rough it happens it i uh i messed up so badly on um the big wreck song it was a big wreck for you, huh? It was, it was more than big wreck. It was an excruciating wreck. It was, <laughs> it was like you couldn't look away, kind of wreck. It was. Uh, That's rough. It was something else, but we somehow recovered. I really didn't know how we were going to. Yeah. Because I didn't start singing when I should have started singing. You know what? We Brutal. figured out. We just look at each other. Everyone kind of <laughs> looks at each other. We're all like equally confused, and then it's like. We're going. <laughs> this is what it looks like when someone messes up and then we're all lost. What? Three? Four? <laughs> and then we're in. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Honestly, I'm sitting there. I'm just catching flies, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do. I just wait for the boys with the notes to just bring it on home, you know? Yeah. I get comments a lot about your playing and about how you don't even look like you're breaking a sweat ever. You look like you're having a really great time. How do you feel about that? Do you agree? It may look easy physically, but <laughs> mentally, I'm falling apart every second. You know? 
<laughs> Mentally, he's an <laughs> octopus trying to, like, figure out each arm. I and may be purpose. looking, like, cool on the surface, but, like, that's because there's only so much brain iotas in there. And, like, they're, they're not being used to work the facial expressions. Like, yeah. the mouth is open. <laughs> the, the eyes are, like, not even, like... <laughs> not even there. They're not sleeping. Home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On vacation, even. It's Jover. Say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> On the surface, he looks calm and ready. Mm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's fun playing this music, though. I feel like at this point, like... Um, I played a set yesterday for, like, a new band. It's one of those situations where it's, like, first gig. Yeah. And, like, you're just so thinking about every part. Like, you're thinking, like, eight bars ahead every time. And it's, like, man, that's a lot of brain power. But then with this, like, I actually did turn my brain off a few times. Yeah, for sure. And it feels good. Yeah. That's just being in the moment, you know? Yeah. I think they call it a flow state. Not me, though. flow state. Not you? No? I call it something else. We're moving on, though. The slow state. The slow state. <laughs> the interstate. The interstate. They would say. Well. The interstate love songs. Don't tell Papayas. We should do that song. <laughs> we could actually. Yeah, That's I wouldn't mind. That would be fun. Um, on the roster. Speaking of planes, <laughs> uh, you were in China in 2019. Yes. Um, it was a long flight. Will you or will you not confirm that you were patient zero in the COVID experience? Honestly, I don't think I was, but I think my stepdad was, because <gasps> I, I think I brought it home, and then he, like, got violently ill. Wait, that wouldn't that mean that it was you? Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> nah, you know what I mean? <laughs> it couldn't be. It but, couldn't like, be. if it was, then, like, it wouldn't be, you know what I mean? You were asymptomatic. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. To your stepdad. I'm illiterate. You <laughs> asymptomatic, illiterate, <laughs> a guy, a <laughs> guy, <laughs> and you brought it to your stepdad. You attempted murder. Um, yeah, is that correct? That's so the truth. Far? Yeah. Truth be told. Did you have a good time during COVID? I had a good time in China. There were some <laughs> Italians there. What? It was, <laughs> it was like a. F- it was like a festival. It was on this mountain, huh. and like there are like bands from like all over. The only ones I remember are the Italians because I love them. Did you see Mani- Ma- Mani Skin? Main Skin? No. Damn. But I know that band. They did that song that everyone really liked and then stopped liking. People stopped liking them? I don't know. I just they don't, don't like hear about anymore? it anymore. Really? I hear them all the time on my radio station, but my radio station is like cooler than most, I have to say. I listen to a lot of blues today. Okay. <laughs> and there's this, there's Go this on. guy. There's this guy, and he's got like that gravelly voice and like Oof. it sounds yeah. like he smoked a pack of rocks you know what i mean yeah like teddy swims like yeah, yeah. i forget his name but it's good it's nice. some good stuff anyway I love a raspy little voice like that raspy. i love a gravel I love a gravel yeah a gravel gooey ccr if you will there's gotta look be a funny acronym in there but anyway on to covid <laughs> covid covid creation COVID. regimen amen to that i did a lot of running in like some point of covid and i was like really happy because i had like a routine and that was like great because i could just like wake up just sprint my troubles away that's so real and then get on the zoom call and just like there's something about people waking up and just flipping open the lid to their laptop and they're just looking they're catching flies right there (laughs) and then meanwhile you've taken like a run and like a cold shower and you're like i'm ready i'm ready to go yeah yeah I actually took up running, too, during COVID, but um, unfortunately, I discovered through my running that I have uh, exercise-induced asthma, so... It ain't easy being wheezy, as they say. (laughs) That's what I've been saying, (laughs) man. (laughs) And, like, I always say that, and nobody really gets it. I'm so glad that you get it. Oh, I don't get it. My lungs are fine. Yeah, I'm going to smoke a bag of rocks after this, though. So I know. I can't believe you can do that. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) I wish, man. I wish. Dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. So exercise induced asthma. Um, You can't sing. Woof. Once you have that. I can't sing either. I can't sing. You can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. I can't sing after my exercise induced asthma. I can't talk while I'm running. Maybe that means I'm running too fast. Maybe. Do you taste blood? That's what happens to me. I think you're doing something wrong. 
Yeah, it's the asthma, my friend. That's what it is. That's crazy. I've Googled it. It's all it's I didn't all know good. there was blood related in, involved with asthma. It's uh it's cause your vessels expand when Which ones? you're running, like your blood vessels. And so you taste the iron from your throat. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude. That sounds unpleasant. It's bad. Yeah, I hate <laughs> it. I hate it. It felt like I smoked like six packs of cigarettes. It's smoking after. a pack of rocks again. Yeah. That's crazy. It was awful. Six packs Bad of time. rocks. So now I just lift things up and put them down. Nice. Yeah. The Arnold way. Yeah. I pick things up, I put them down. Oh, you can't even see it. Swoley <laughs> mammoth over yeah. here. That's anyway. crazy. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. Anyway. Um, so you picked up running. Would you say it was jogging or like more like a... It was a jogging. Run? It was yeah. like steady. Yeah. It was steady. And then you decided to go a little slower, and you went into the hiking vibe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's been a, a discovery of uh, 2024. It's been the year of the hike. It's Ooh. been the year of touch grass. Hiking girl summer. Hiking girl summer. And year. And year. <laughs> it's been really good because, like, I live in the city in Etobicoke mm -hmm. by Toronto, and, like, it sucks, dude. Like, we live on a street. It like even that is like bad enough. I want to live in like a <laughs> like a cave, on a dirt road, you know, yeah, in the and, middle of a forest. And like there's these trucks coming by, and there's like these people just like walking around mm -hmm. our neighborhood. I'm like, why is anyone here? You know, go what I mean? away, go Get away. Out of here. Yeah. So we obviously can't change that situation because why would I ever take control of my life type of deal? Mm -hmm. But you can go outside, and you can go to a trail that other people have walked on. And, like, usually the views are pretty good. And I found this app, All Trails. You know about All Trails? I know about All Trails, It's yeah. cracked, dude. I mess with All Trails. The fact that I didn't know about that until, like, this year, like, I am I'm shooting myself oh, in the nice. foot here on this one. Um, anyway, you, like, you go, you pick a faraway place, and it's like, I'm going to go there. I'm going to walk 10K, and I'm going to have a Gatorade after. And there's going to be a waterfall along the way. Yeah, and man. if there isn't, and if the view sucks, like, while we're doing it, like, you know what? My legs feel really good. So right. it's all about the blood flow in yeah. the end, you know? That lactic acid. Lactic acid. Situation. Also got really into mushrooms, not the drug kind. But just the, just the, the mushrooms. kind? Yeah, just like any kind that grows on the ground. Nice. So What's your favorite one from the ground? Honestly, well, from the like the freshly from the ground, fresh kind. ground. Yeah. Um, well, I saw morel in in the flesh one time. Yeah. And I was shocked because I was on like a hunt for this thing. I was watching YouTube videos up and down. Oh, were you shook? Were you like? I was shook. And like, they were saying like, look for the elm trees, look for the standing elm right. trees. And I'm like, man, I got outside and I was like, all these trees are like, there's no telling these apart. <laughs> I got a tree book, but like, man, there's a lot of trees. My 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 cortex cannot handle this, yeah, you know. Yeah. So anyway, stumbled across it one time. We we're in like a mushroom forging workshop or something. Mm -hmm. Toronto mycological situ sits, uh, situation. What? Not situation. <laughs> so you're just saying sounds to me, <laughs> but no. Anyway, we found this morel, and I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. If you don't know what a morel looks like, it's like a mushroom, but it's like kind of capped. Not capped. I don't know. I'm explaining this horribly. It's got like, it looks like SpongeBob, but like brown. And it's yeah. like, it's crazy. Spongy. Kind of has like weird skirty oh, layers. Hollow kinda. on the yeah. inside. And like, it's crazy. And the fact, okay, the fact that these things just like grow out of the ground yeah. and just like feed off of everything. It's sick, dude. And yeah. when you find one, it's like a treasure hunt. It's like nature's treasure hunt. Mm. It's you should, incredible. You got to see my garden. That is nature's treasure hunt. I love Dude, gardens. we okay. So, the previous owner of our house, um, he was a very big fan of gardening, until he got old, and then he couldn't do it anymore. So wow. it started getting really overgrown. Um, but there's like secret asparagus patches. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> there's secret rhubarb patches. Holy smokes. There's so much mint. I have made so many mojitos. Wow. My time living here. There's oregano to the gods. Um, wow. It's insane. You're living so, it up here. It's a good time. That's incredible. Yeah, I got to tell you, if you want some asparagus in your life, you better start planting it now because it takes like 20 years to get a good patch. No. I'm not kidding. He did it for you, though. He did it for me. King. Did and they my grow dog. every year? They yeah. They just keep blooming? Every year. Did they grow out of the ground, like sticking up like yeah. that? Yeah. 
I saw them at the grocery store one time, and then my girlfriend pointed out that's how they grow on the ground, and I'm yeah. like, obviously, but, like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> there's no leaves or anything? No, there's no leaves. It's just, it's just like a little shoot. That's crazy. It's crazy, dude. My dog loves them. She searches for them, so we don't get asparagus. It's it's for our it's dog. It's for the dog. Yeah. Honestly. But she deserves it. Yeah. Asparagus is fire, dude. So good. It's crazy. I go crazy for asparagus. Honestly, you're you're dude, a veggie connoisseur. You're a vegan. I'm a vegano. Yeah. Vegano Reggiano. Tell me about that. Honestly, dude, like, if you just give me, like, some chili oil and, like, some rice, like, I'm set, dude. You'll you'll make a good dish. Yeah. Nice. Like, okay, once you learn how to cook with any of the 200,000 plants in the world, like, <laughs> you're set. Throw yeah. some salt, pepper, and, like, some Italian seasoning. Maybe some, like, uh... I don't know. I love Asian spices, so mm-hmm. like just crushed chilies and like star anise, etc. And it's like when you're set. Yeah, set you're gonzo. To... You're set for the night. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like, anyway, vegan propaganda rant. You ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. I've been waiting. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I've I love animals. Yeah. Can we all agree on that? Like yeah. animals rock, dude. Yeah. They're so sick. Except for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? I honestly, I'm a bad vegan. I destroy mosquitoes. Yeah, that's okay. Like the other day, like As one you was, <laughs> you know, when they're like flying slow and you're like, I'm doing it. And you do the two hander, do the, do the thunderclap there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Nothing feels more powerful than just eviscerating a mosquito yeah. with your bare hands. Yeah. I make yeah. it up. I make up for it because I take spiders outside instead of killing them sometimes. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, I think all animals deserve to live a happy life, and uh, that's pretty pretty sick. I feel like if I was, like, farmed for anything, like, it's not good. And then you look at all the stats and, like, just, like, it's silly, man. Like, all right, here we go. <laughs> I'm ready. Go off. <laughs> These Pop stats off aren't legit, but roughly 80% of, like, uh, land you – okay, Friggin, friggin' livestock. We gotta usage. unpack this off. We're like unpacking and unpacking. We're unpacking. unpacking. We're getting deeper. Yeah. I'm t- fumbling over my words here. Yeah. I'm getting heated. Yeah. You're getting excited. <laughs> that's what you're getting. So for like animal agriculture, I think it's like 80 percent land use. That's like what it takes of like the global like you know yeah. food intake, but they only represent like 20 percent of the calories. Whereas on the flip side, around like 20% of all like plant foods, that's all the land it takes, 20% of the land, and they make up for, you know, roughly 80% of all mm-hmm. the calories. It's like the fact that you have to pump all these plants through a cow and then like it's just shit in its whole life and then you just take it out and then like that's all that shit. That's like, why don't you just not feed that cow that grass and just eat the grass, dude? Like, I don't know. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the grass, but, like, you know, use eat... the energy to make the grass for something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. You're spilling gas on the way to the gas station, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're driving with a punctured tank there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like cows don't they release so much methane too and like destroying the ozone they're layer shit whatever? they're shit storm stop swearing on my they're podcast. pooping up a storm <laughs> you can censor that one out <laughs> oh my god this is a kid show what the heck? i think like i think like a kilo of like beef is like dumps like some ridiculous number of like carbon uh, CO2 into like the atmosphere mm-hmm. like I'm talking 50 kilograms of like or 50 <laughs> tons or something something ridiculous and then like you look at like a tofu slice like a kilo of tofu and that's only like you know a, f- a tiny just fraction of that mm-hmm. and it's like it's crazy what are we doing what are we doing anyway I try to spread the facts you know yeah I feel like it's not good to be preachy even we're a though facts I s- only podcast by the way even though I don't have any facts in front of me It sounds like I'm whipping those numbers out, but I swear they're relatively accurate. (laughs) (laughs) Fact checker. Fact checking? The land that's used for agricultural (laughs) globally is uh, actually 38%. 38% of land using for for, uh, agricultural, agricultural, like the mammals, like the the cattle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
for land agriculture. That's bonkers. I think in the big stat, I think that was also reflecting the food that the animals were eaten, eating oh, as well. Oh, also, okay. So, yeah. like, the meadows that the cows use as yeah. well. Okay. Well, that, Got and it. then also the, the, the grain that they're eating as well. Right. That's, like, also grown in the wheat okay. field type of yes. deal. I don't know how this stuff works, but, you know. <laughs> I don't know what cows eat. Roughly. I'm not I don't a cow. Know. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, there's so many numbers out there. And the fact that we have the internet, you can just look up any number that just proves the point, you know. Google so it. Don't trust me. Trust. Trust the oracle. Trust your five sources from Wikipedia. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not Wikipedia. Not Wikipedia, as the teachers say. Yeah. Um, you know what? I always thought that was a load of hoopla. That's a load of hoopla. Like, cause you can go on Wikipedia and then you can click on the source that they used, and you can just like, why can't I use that source? It is a yeah, source. It's a source. I think I watched a video on like, uh, there's like hardcore wiki heads who mm-hmm. just like make 90% of the content on Wikipedia and they're just going. That's crazy. It's like 1% of the people. That's why they keep asking us for money so they can pay those people maybe. Bro, Wikipedia's loaded. It's <laughs> you think so? Is this a conspiracy oh, you it's have? A, yeah, it's huge. They don't need the money. I don't have any stats to back this up. but <laughs> You don't have it? Especially not from Wikipedia. Sure. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. There's no way to find this stuff on the internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, they wiped that. They didn't want any evidence. It's gone, though. Of being rich. <laughs> yeah. So they can pay everyone. Okay. Yeah. Don't sue me, Wikipedia. Not that you have the lawyer fund, too. Because if you did, then you wouldn't be asking for money. So we, Yeah, we can't afford it. You can't afford it. <laughs> Clearly. If I'm getting sued by Wikipedia, they don't need the donations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. If he gets sued, you know that Wikipedia is full of it. I'm going to put it on like a Wikipedia list somewhere right now. <laughs> on Wikipedia. <laughs> on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm gently interrupting this podcast to talk to you about Gussapalooza. This year, the band and I will be playing on September 15th, but don't miss your chance to see tons of incredible artists all weekend. Gussapalooza Music and Arts Festival is a unique three-day campout extravaganza that celebrates Canada's emerging music and arts scene. Over 50 bands from across Canada perform on multiple stages and represent diverse genres like rock, country, folk, hip-hop, electronic, pop, and more. Prepare to get up close, mingle, and be captivated by the best independent artists of today. Immerse yourself in laughter at our comedy shows, be enchanted by buskers, tantalize your taste buds with a wide array of delectable foods and craft beers, engage in thrilling games, and explore our vibrant creators convention. There's truly something for everyone. Emerging bands travel great distances to play Gussapalooza because of you, the amazing music and art lovers who together create a community with the power to launch these artists to new heights. As a cherished member of our community, you are not just an ordinary festival goer. You are a talent scout, a record label executive, and a devoted music enthusiast with the power to bestow a prestigious Gussapalooza Music Award upon your favorite artists, propelling them to the global stage. Right now, if you use code Sydney Riley, you can enjoy a discount off of your tickets and bask in the fact that you are directly supporting me and my band through ticket sales. That's code Sydney Riley, S Y D N E Y R I L E Y, at checkout. See you there. Brandon, are you going to be uh, the first drummer to drum in the sky, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to, like, I'm going to take a plane up and I'm going to set a kit up in the back and I'm going to turn on the autopilot. And I'm gonna get back there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice some. You're gonna uh, hit that Y Y Z. I'm gonna hit that Y Y Z. I'm gonna fly over Toronto. Over Toronto airport. And they're gonna be like, "Please get over our, out of our airspace. What are you doing? State your intentions." And I'm like, "I can't hear you guys." <laughs> I'm and they're busy like, jamming to Rush. And they're like, "Please leave. We're gonna send the F 16s after you." And I'm like, "Please, I love F 16s." <laughs> send them Just over. Just take me down, dude. <laughs> Let me inspect them. Thank you. Have you ever heard a F-16 just fly by your head? I don't know what that would be. It's loud. Okay. I've, I've heard, heard many loud things it's like fly a, by me. You know, like a jet, like a, the one that just they spend a lot like of money on. the kind for, like, air shows? Is it that it's, kind? It, well, it's really the kind for just blowing shit up. Just wasting money. Stop swearing on Blowing stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to edit this so hard. Oh, 
beans. All beans, oh, Brandon. Beans. I don't. Okay, so wait. What? What is the purpose that I would know an F sixteen for? You ever seen Top Gun? <laughs> I have to tell you something, Brandon. No. <laughs> I've never seen Top Gun. Do you know what they fly in Top Gun? Do you know about Top Gun? I only know the cool sunglasses they wear and the bomber jackets, I think. The bomber jackets are pretty cute, though. They are really cute. Dude, what about the volleyball scene? You know about that? I don't know anything about the volleyball scene. It's it's gay. They're all... It's like... <laughs> like, actually homosexual? Heavily implying. Okay. It, I, I'm pretty sure it was a lot I'm of people's it. like first <laughs> first sort of awakening, but oh. not me. Not you, broke back mountain for you. Honestly, it's like cash or something. Cash out. Not not quite gay. Are you sure it wasn't like share? Share more gay. <laughs> I guess cash is gay adjacent. She gets there. Yeah. Yeah. Not Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. No, I don't think I ever watched any of the music videos, but I know it's a special someone who. Really loved Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we played Rain on Me in a basement at a punk show and every single person in our band was playing it in a different key? I feel like that's most of our songs. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can say it because I have no responsibility for things whatsoever. Yeah, you have, yeah, no responsibility for the melody. He is rhythm only. I, I, I barely even count the songs in, too. It's like... <laughs> I had to count you in today. That for, thing messed me up. For a chapel room. I was feeling all backwards. Speaking thought, of the gays. Speaking of the gays. Yeah. Representing. Yeah. Represent. Love her. Absolutely. Slay. Uh, so we're talking about planes, F-16s. The things that go like really fast. <laughs> so, so bring it back to planes. Yeah. <laughs> they got the Delta wings. They got the machine guns. Uh, the pilots look really cool. And uh, they're really loud. And they go really fast. And they break like the sound barrier. And the vapor barrier and stuff. I thought I would... Vapor barrier? Yeah. I didn't know about that. What's that about? I don't know. I tried to research it, but then I was, like, too tired to understand anything that was happening. But I hypothesized, probably very wrong, check the sources that I don't have. Check Wikipedia for this information. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I think it's just when, like, they go so fast that they just rip, like, the... Right. The water from the air, and it, like, makes, like, a visible it thing. It makes the plane wet? No, they just destroy the air, basically, because oh. they're going so fast. Oh, I don't know. Like this that. is probably wrong, but it's really sick when it happens. So you care about the environment, but you don't care about the planes that rip the air apart. Man, jet fuel is cool. <laughs> planes are cool. Killing animals is the not plane, cool. The planes go zoom, and <laughs> that's all we need to know. That's all it is. Listen, man, it's good fun. Yeah. It's I technology bet. at work. I bet. <laughs> they seem to have some fun with those towers in New York. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Brandon, who were your big three growing up? George Bush. <laughs> oh no. No, I'm kidding. I don't like George Bush. Oh, hot take. Big three, um <laughs> it's not a hot take. That's it's a like very the controversial take. <laughs> <laughs> He's a controversial man. Yeah. Truly. Um top did you hear three about Biden dropping out? I did. That's why I said Bonkers. it's Jover. I thought you would have caught oh, that I one. Oh, I didn't get that one. I saw that Sorry. meme like 20 minutes before this podcast, uh, and I memes. thought it was hilarious. I'm not hip with it. I'm not hip with the memes. Now you know. Memes. That was a fresh meme, though. Just dropped today. Yeah, just dropped. It's crazy. Okay. Um, top three growing up. Uh, anyone? I'm going to say yeah. Chad Kroger. <laughs> All right. Because you listen to that <laughs> voice when you're like five years old, Rock 95. Yeah. You're in Barrie, Ontario. Yeah. Driving around in the back of your dad's car. He's stopping at the butcher shop, and you're like... You're just sitting in the hot car. That's where it all started for you. The and veganism and the Nickelback. Yeah, and then all you hear is, I've been a standing line, the gloves will never get it. And you're like, oh my God, it's over for me. We're going to get copyrighted from YouTube. I'm cooked, dude. Like, accurate depiction. Yeah. So anyway, no, you're right. You know what I saw yesterday? What? Metallica, or a Nickelback did a cover of Metallica song. What was it? I forget, but it's crazy. Do it's you remember crazy. Nickelback doing that... Um, ship thing the the sailor thing no what am i thinking of sailor what do sailors sing sailor you know the sailors on the deep blue sea what do they Sh sing sea shanties shanties yes yeah uh nickelback sang a sea shanty that's amazing yeah you gotta look it up i'm sure you'll love I it i will that's amazing yeah you love them hell yeah <laughs> 
But anyway, hearing like Nickelback and like drop tuning, and he's also like imitating like James Hetfield's voice, and he does it like so much better. It's crazy. He does it better than James Hetfield. Oh my god! If he could like do a whole like cover of just like not only like Metallica music, but just like heavier music in general, like I'm done. I do like it when Nickelback goes kind of hard in the tank. Oh my god! They're like actually go like so hard. People just don't know it. Yeah, it's crazy. Burn it to the ground. Slaps. I'm not oh my god! Lie. Yeah, burn me to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Burn me <laughs> to the ground. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, okay, this might not be like growing up, but I think number two is gonna have to be Nicolas Cage. He probably was growing up too, but when yeah, I was like growing up, he was up, uh, he was doing that superhero thing for a little while. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, kick ass yeah. as well. He was good in that. Um, I love I Nicolas Cage. I just saw Long Legs. I got my long legs on. And that was scary. I heard about that movie, but I don't know what it's about. Uh, spiders? Mm, I don't think there were any spiders in it, honestly. Tall people? Tall people. Well, in the intro scene, he's like, all right, Nick Cage plays like a serial killer, and he's like super oh. psycho. Oh, and he's okay. like, he plays a crazy, crazy character, which kind of suits him because he's Nick Cage, though. He's a little odd. I'm going to do a swear. I get rid of the bleep this one. <gasps> um... What's that movie? He's a, uh, oh the the unbearable weight of massive talent. Don't know that one. It's with Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage. <gasps> Pedro Pascal, I and, love that guy. And it's like a big like meta movie because okay. Nicolas Cage plays Nicolas Cage. Wait, is it the one where they stare at each other and there was a whole meme about it? Yeah, perfect. I know so that anyway, one. Nick is talking to Nikki, the younger okay. version of himself, and then he's just like, the young Nick is like, man, we still got it. We're or this is where. Nick. And Cage. Got it. You're gonna have that's a long it's bleep right long. there. Yeah, I wonder if I can auto tune it. That'll be really. Fun. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I can cook up in the editing software that I'm gonna use. <laughs> so I love Nick's Cage. Been watching a lot of his movies. I think. We got a list going on. Yeah, it's a lot. I think. Uh, Can we get a fact check for how many Nicolas Cage movies we watched so far? <laughs> I think our friend Leica is also going on a Nicolas Cage uh, adventure with all of. I'm his stuck films. in the cage, dude. Yeah, I'm stuck in the cage. Can't get out. <laughs> Can't get out. It's it's too nice in there. It's nice. Anyway, he's it's great. Good time. Yeah, the third one though. Third one. You have eleven movies left on Nicolas Cage. You have eleven out of. Out of. Or. Stand by. Standing by. <laughs> 11 movies remaining of the Nick Cage. There's always more coming out, so... Right, just keep so the going. number just keeps increasing. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and then uh, I think the f- the most important drummer to me, if we're going to bring it back to some drums here, yeah. I think uh, the Rev from Avenged Sevenfold. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy you said that, Brandon. I painted a portrait of him. No. Yeah. I actually gave it to someone else, so you won't be able... I would have given it to you, though, if I had kept it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuming. I think I might have one of Sinister Gates somewhere, but he's not. That's sick. Yeah, he's not as You're big sick as the rest. I was. I was into it. You're into it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was into it. That's like the big only man. thing I listened to for like three years straight in high yeah. school. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I feel like in that music, like their whole catalog is like, I feel like especially at that age, you like listen to it yeah. and like, you know, you just hear like, again, Rock 95 stuff and you're like, <laughs> all right, Led Zeppelin's cool and all. But then you hear this shit and you're like, oh my God. You hear this stuff and you're like, <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. And the fact that like, you can just like pay attention, like yeah. every individual like element and it just like captures you. And like the songwriting is like, yeah. it's cooked. It's crazy. <laughs> it's they, so good. They went nuts in that, was it the self-titled album with the, the necrophilia, resurrection, yeah. murder, yeah. all sorts of things going on all in sorts one of song. Oh my god, they went crazy. Yeah. A little piece of heaven. A little piece of heaven <sighs> went nuts. See, okay, I saw them recently. Mm-hmm. I really love the Nightmare album. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the last track on there, Absolute Banger, Save Me. Yeah. I used to come home from school back in the day, 16 year old me, little chin strap going on. <laughs> And I was working on my double bass chops. Oh, beans. And you just put that song on. Dun, da, 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 da. Is that it? I think that's Danger Line or something. I'm kind of only remembering the chorus where it gets a little lighter. So I, maybe Save I don't. Save me. I'm trapped, trapped in a fire world. Yeah, it's, a, it's crazy. So anyway. Love them. You go home. You 
put that on max volume and yeah. you just work out those legs dude so you were living the exact same life as my brother no who way. had a drum kit and i would be up in my room so sad that he didn't invite me down to sing along with him because i knew every word yeah um and yeah and then eventually they were in a band and same thing uh they were playing all of red sevenfold yeah. and i was like i know every single one of these songs but they will not let me sing down there um because they thought i was uncool and a loser which is true um but wow i just wish i had the opportunity to be in an avenged sevenfold cover band i think i would have slayed it you can make it happen we i had could. a i had a brief cover band we like had like two three things one thing we had like two things in a in a rehearsal room and it was like it was so joyous i was like so happy we we're mm. just ripping this stuff yeah, yeah anyway i'll get it going again i'm so okay. bad at organizing that stuff i was like man this stuff's fun but this messaging everyone sucks tell me about it friend <laughs> tell me about it the so our friend gord our bassist uh told me this probably very early on when i organized our band and he said um, the worst part about being in a band is being in a band. And I said, Gord, I don't know what you mean by that. That's that cap. Crazy. And it, it is cap. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not it's cap. Not cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's so true. The worst part about being in a band is trying to organize every single person's schedule and trying to find one day in common that we could all practice. Sucks. So hard. Sucks. Big, big ups to you for dealing with that for all these years. Brutal night. Honestly, it hasn't even been that bad until like maybe last month, and I was losing my mind. I've been losing my mind this yeah. month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of switched on to you. Your house flooded. Tell me about that. Was your street also flooded? I think the whole city was flooded, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for those who don't know, who aren't in Canada, I don't know why you'd be watching this if you're not in Canada, but anyway, Toronto, Ontario. Respect. Toronto, Ontario, uh, got absolutely just tsunamied um, with water from a flood. I feel like it wasn't even raining that long for it to justify that. But what what do you say? <laughs> Listen, I was sitting at home. I had the work to go to that day. Minding your own business. Minding my own business. I was writing out these charts. I think I was transcribing a dying fetus song for my one Excellent. student who just fucking hates themselves apparently yeah and uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you're a teenager that's kind of like how yeah. it goes you know? <laughs> um so anyway i'm like just ripping on this sibelius over here and uh you know it's coming down pretty hard my girlfriend texts me she gets to work and like her socks are wet and oh. like she's like i need a replacement here and i was like man fine <laughs> so i was like kind of preparing myself mentally to deal with all that not that it's an issue <laughs> love you abby <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i go downstairs because like oh actually i look outside i got a nice sliding glass window there it's mm -hmm. beautiful and uh it's just it's just coming down yeah. the backyard is a puddle at this point the ground has ceased to absorb water pissing cats and dogs and i'm like this is this is not good yeah and it just kept coming i'm like that's in the words of smash mouth huh in the words of smash mouth they just don't stop coming yeah torrential yeah. so anyway i go downstairs because you know the house is a piece of garbage and uh you know when you when this kind of things happen you're like it's probably going to be a little bit of water down there Mm -hmm. And uh, lo and behold, there was. <gasps> it was like, it wasn't even coming from any of like the wall areas there. There was just a little puddle, like sort of in like the middle of like, like not adjacent to any walls, just kind of like in the middle of like the room type of deal. What? Not in the middle <laughs> of the room, but like, what? It's, it's like inside. Okay. And it's coming in through like the, f like the. Under the floor, kind of? Not like under the floor, but like the. One of the things that like go down baseboards. here, they do. Yeah, baseboards. It was yeah. like coming in through the baseboards, and I was like, "That's cooked." Yeah. So I just put down like a towel, and I'm like, "I'm gonna check on this in a minute." Right. Anyway, I go and do my stuff, and I drink my coffee. It's a beautiful little ritual. Mm. And I go downstairs again. The whole basement's in like a inch of water, and I'm like, "What <laughs> is happening right now?" And I like, it's one of those things where you're like. You're shook. This hasn't happened before to this, to this scale. And I'm like, this is absolutely insane. 
So I have three drum kits in the basement because I'm yeah. I'm just You're a drummer. I've got a problem, you know. <laughs> and l- <laughs> it's what you do. That's what I do. <laughs> so I'm like I got to get the gear out of here now because yeah. the water was rapidly increasing. So much of that day just turned into like schlepping gear upstairs. Yeah. And the water wasn't the cleanest water that was coming in. Also, like, like you have, like, cat litter, litter stuff down there. Oh, my God. It was so funny. I got a video when it was, like, up to my ankles and stuff. Mm-hmm. Not my ankles. My, like, shin or something. And, like, I'm, like, in the process of moving all the important stuff out. Mm-hmm. And, like, the cat litter boxes are on the bottom of that tier. So they're just, like, staying afloat. They're, oh they're like, no. floating around here. They got some dookies in them. And it's like, <laughs> oh no! And I'm man. just thinking about the cats. So I'm like, if Tammy comes down here and she like <laughs> just goes for a swim, all because she needed to like do her business. I gotta insert a picture of Tammy just for. <sighs> Here's the Tammy pic right here. Yeah, yeah. It's probably the one of her standing, looking yeah, like. It <laughs> it's hilarious. It's I think every picture of Tammy is hilarious. To be honest. Honestly, she's she has hilarious. The tiniest head and the biggest body I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, that's my favorite stance of like every cat. My cat does that all the time and I'm like, what what are you doing? Preparing for battle? Like what's happening? <laughs> Absolute power pose. Yeah. So ready to mess some people up for yeah. sure. So anyway, I frantically called everyone that should have been involved in the situation and there's a lot of stress yeah. all around. But you know, I think in that situation, like I think on like a normal day to day, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the noggin that's like why am I thinking about this? This right. is stupid. Why am I stressing over this? They're not the real problem. They're not the real problem. But then when you're faced with a real problem, yeah. it's like, man, my drums are going to get wet. This yeah. is not good. Yeah. That's when things start to make sense, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like as I was p- taking out all the things that I needed to take out, I was going by what matters most to what la- matters least. And making those decisions, it's yeah. like... What does matter most, you know? It's a matter of survival. I'm really. gonna pose a question to you. What matters most to you? Brandon. Aww. Gotcha. Ah, you got me. <laughs> oh my god. What matters most to me? Oh man. Probably like my pets, but if I'm gonna get like deep on it, um like changing lives, making people feel good and or bad <laughs> yeah changing lives is a two-way street yeah exactly <laughs> sometimes you gotta feel the bad to really appreciate the good um i do that in like my concerts like i try to make people a little bit sad in the middle so that we can like bring each other back up to like rocking out classic maneuver yeah i think i think it works we didn't really do that this time around but that's okay I w- we were there to party we weren't, we weren't really there to like feel a lot yeah you know there are no walls yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so what is that? What do you mean by that, Brandon? That, Brandon? <laughs> no barriers, man. You know. No barriers, bro. If we put love out into this world, it's got to be contained within the walls. Right. Otherwise, it's gonna escape into the fleeting nothingness of the void. You know what I mean? Um, I don't. But like, what matters least to you? What matters least? Is this an interview for me? What matters least to me? I'm just covering all the bases here. Um, <laughs> veganism, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, what matters least to me? least to me that's a really good question i'm gonna say george bush to me i'm gonna say airplanes (laughs) wow (laughs) actually just any any motored thing i struggle to find yeah your camera probably has a motor in it well okay any motor thing that takes like gasoline slash diesel slash fuel that's a cooked opinion non-electric things it's not that I think they suck. It's just that I don't understand them. There's and I don't lot. want to. There's a lot. Yeah. I, I don't care to understand them. There's a lot of things that are just that crankcase, the 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 cylinders, the what? I'm just naming parts. <laughs> what are you you're just saying words to me? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway. We're just vibing. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, oh man. Uh all right. Well, I think that that just that does it, Brandon. That's the do you interview. Wanna, do you want to talk about anything else? What's on your mind? I want to say thank you to my family for letting me move back in with them while my Aww. house smells like, like just hard, just bad. Yeah. Just not good. It's really musty, and like kind of damp. There's mold growing everywhere. 
brutal. But anyway, it'll all be sorted out. Yeah. Life moves on, as they say. Maybe you'll grow some mushrooms in your basement. And then Honestly, you'll it's have looking like that. They're yeah. not working very fast. So. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, as landlords do. Landlord. Actually, sorry, I lied to you. I have one more question for you. Brandon, what were you hired to do? I was hired to play some drums, <laughs> bang some drums, yeah, and uh, just be a, just be a, be a, uh, what's the word? An inconsistently good hang. Like sometimes I'm a good hang, but other times I'm like. I'm done. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. Sometimes you're not rocking with it. But yeah, I get it. I get it. But I'm trying to be a trying to be a good hang. That's what 2024 is all about. All That's right. why I've been going hiking. You're hired to be a, a good hang and a drummer boy. Yeah. All right. Neither of which I do very well. I disagree. I think you're a great drummer boy. All right, thanks. I think you do it so well. I think you do it so well that it looks easy, and then like people are like, "Wow, he's like, he's not even trying." But he is. He's trying so hard. He's just like. It's a lot. A lot of gears yeah, turning. Yeah, I got yeah. the crankshaft going on up there. It's, it's going crazy. <laughs> it's going great. You got the cylinders. They're firing you got on all two cylinders here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All two <laughs> cylinders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all cylinders. All one and a half cylinders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're running on empty too. You got like. You need an oil change maybe. I blew a few fuses in there. Yeah. Like. Your AC cucked. doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> And you're growing mushrooms. Growing mushrooms. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to plug before we uh, say goodbye? Um, uh, oh, my band Matria released a single, The Traveler. No way. It slaps. It is so, so, so good. If you're a fan of uh, uh, like metal stuff and also just like uh, stuff that isn't metal as well. like <laughs> Prague, perhaps? Yeah, you'll get along with it. Yeah. There's a... What I think is a pretty gnarly breakdown at the end. It's always a real, it's always a real treat to play that yes. one live. Love that. And uh, it's just a journey, you know. There's like some. I think someone said there's a reggae part in there, reggaeton. What? So it goes all over the map, you know. Yeah. You guys covered all bases with that song. We're pandering to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just like the Bo Burnham song. You're pandering. We're pandering. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for being here with me. Have a great night, day, everyone. Have a great whatever time it is uh while you're watching this we'll see you again next time go outside touch some grass and uh and go hike go hike goodbye goodbye <laughs>